A perfect arch is a shape that I think all DIYers dream of. And one simple technique promises the perfect line every time. My first guest this morning says this project will be your power tool gateway. I love that. And that you'll pull her blueprint out again and again from headboards to rock climbing walls. The project possibilities are endless. We are so thrilled to have Sarah Merrill in studio with us today to teach us how. You're the best. Oh, stop We'll it. start you there. Are. You're the stop. best. You are. And the way you inspire women, in fact, you were saying before the show, you get DMs all the time of women commenting on your project saying, I'm gonna send this to my husband, mm -hmm. and you say. I said, no, you're not. You're gonna do this. You got this. Yeah. Seriously. And what about the arch? I mean, so versatile. Yeah. Yes, I use it all the time. And at first, you know, when I was first getting into DIY, it was like, I don't know how to do that. I know how to cut a straight line, but it really is not as hard as you would think. Worth mastering. Worth. Because you will use it again and again. You will. Okay, what's, uh, and, and talk us through some of the projects Kay. you have used an arch for or with. Okay, so actually this is a headboard. I saw one like it on Pottery Barn and it was lots of money. Dollars. Always. A few dollars. Always. Yeah. So I was like, okay, how can I DIY this? This was for my toddler's room. I was actually eight months pregnant, so I feel you, girl. <laughs> Go, girl. And uh, I was doing my toddler's room. So this is really, really just a simple arch, and then you just upholster it. But you realize in that basic shape, and you do describe it as simple, and I, yeah. I appreciate that, but in that basic shape comes curvature and movement and, and, a, and an elevated aesthetic yes, exactly. to the basic headboard to a pottery barn level. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yep. And then like similarly, I use that same kind of arch to elevate. This is a magnetic board that's in our playroom. My kids love it. Cute. Spell. Um, you can actually get like little, you know, any kind of magnet. Cute. You can play, play, play on it. So. Okay, proof that we need to know how yes. to do the arch. So yes. what do we need to do the arch? Okay, so super simple. You're gonna need some sort of measuring tool. You can use a yardstick if you have it or if you're comfortable using a measuring tape. That's what I usually use. This is use. the one tool I can use. Right? I'll show off Honestly, the Honestly, it's the one tool that has hurt me. Oh. It slides, you know, when it slides down. It is down, a little like, erratic. I'm scared of these. Be scared yeah, of that. Unpredictable. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to use a measuring tape and then some string, scissors, tape, and a pen. That's Kay. literally it. And then a jigsaw. We're going to talk about this. We'll get to the jigsaw. If that intimidates you, Sarah's going to take yes, the Yes, it was my very first saw, and I love it. I what, are you, all the time. what are you okay. measuring? Okay, so listen. So first, we're going to measure the width of mm -hmm. it. So we've got 24 inches. So okay. we're gonna take this, we're gonna go 12. Halfsies. Halfsies, so measure right in half. Uh-huh. Okay, and then you're gonna do the exact same thing. So you've got your 12. Uh-huh. You're gonna come down, measure the exact same thing. So you're gonna measure on 12. 12 to 12. Mm-hmm. Okay, midpoint, right. high point. So the midpoint, no, you're, yeah, you're oh. gonna go midpoint and then take that midpoint and measure down from the top. And this becomes- So here's our point. Our target, okay. okay you got it? Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna take some string. It can be any string you have on hand. String. I have this embroidery floss. String. The only thing is you wanna make sure that there's no give because it's a measuring tool, right? Like it's our, <laughs> it's our rough we, measuring we tool. We want our leggings to stretch, not that, our string to stretch. That, you know what, I okay. love it. Put Spoken that on a pillow. Spoken as a pregnant person. Put it's that fine. on a pillow, Brooke. Okay, <laughs> then you're gonna take some tape. You're gonna put it right on this X and you can just leave a little bit because we're gonna cut that. I feel like you're building a protractor. Are, are we? Is that what you're doing? Let's I do don't it. know. It's been a while. Yes, yes. That's exactly Since what we're doing. geometry. That's exactly what we're doing. It's so easy. Okay. It's, it's basic geometry. Now my palms are starting to sweat. Geometry has entered the room. Uh-oh. Watch out, Brick. Okay. Okay, then you're going to tape it down. Doesn't have to be pretty. Is it a protractor? Is that what the tool is called? I, why, I do I, why do I throw around these things that I don't, I don't know. understand? We're, we're smart. We can okay. Pretend. Okay, so you got to make sure that's on really good. Then you're going to cut. See how it's going from our point? Uh -huh. And you see it, that I put the tape right on that X? So that right on your right there. target. Yep. Then you're gonna bring it over, uh -huh. cut it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And you're gonna take your pen. Yes. I usually use a marker. You can use a pencil, you can use a pen, whatever, whatever you like. Okay. Then you're just gonna roll it like this. Oh my gosh. Make sure you keep this tight. Steady hand. I feel like I should yeah, hold you it for that. you like we're pinching I sometimes a present. Will. I sometimes will okay. hold that. And then you just keep it right out to the point. This is magic. And you just <gasps> go around. And way more fun than geometry. Way more fun. Way, no Did offense to Mrs. Okay. Reynolds. Yeah, we got it. Shout out Mrs. Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it will get off. See, like that's off. So then so you recalibrate we just redo it. it. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. then you just redo it. And once you get, and that, maybe I should have cut the string a little bit longer. To give you a little bit a of little bit more. buffer. But yep. we, we see it. We, we see, see it. it. We feel it. Okay. So then you, anyway, you just kind of play with it. Yes. And it will come down. There she goes. There we go. See? There she goes. So there's our perfect line. Outer edge. Now, enter the jigsaw, which okay. you have a really 
cute analogy for the jigsaw. I do, so it's a lot like a sewing machine. Okay. And I feel like that's a lot less intimidating for women because yeah. we've all used one. We're not, we're not good at it, we've talked about I this. I mean, we've attempted. We've attempted. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like honestly, these are a lot more forgiving and a lot more fun okay. than sewing, I okay. think. But it's, it's the same kind of movement, right? Like, Up and like down. your needle, okay. right? And it just cuts around. You gonna show us? Make sure, I don't know. I don't know if I want to show you. Okay, okay, that's Do fine. Do we show you? I, I don't want to get sawdust all over your yeah, beautiful a little bit. studio. Give us a little okay. zig. Okay, little we'll zigzag go. with the jig. <laughs> Let's zigzag. Little zig with the jig. Zigzag with the jig. Now I'm putting you on the spot. Oh, that's but fine. I feel like we should at least demonstrate the ease. I should say you should probably wear protective. Okay, eye. sorry. Now I bullied you into unsafety. Whatever. We're fine. Okay, so then measures. you'll just take it. Your blade. Okay. What you'll want to do is make sure that it's on full. This you could be a bad idea and I'll take the blame. Fine. <laughs> okay. So you'll want to make sure that it's full power, uh -huh. but go slow. You don't have to rush okay. it. There's no rush. You can okay. just kind of, just like a sewing machine, you can take it slow, but you'll want to make sure that your pedal is all the way going, you know? Yeah. Or you can slow down. It's yeah. fine. Okay. So you'll just take it along this edge. Steady. Okay, that's good. Yeah, like, like that. Steady, steady. See that? Easy Thanks for easy. taking one for this team. Sarah, you're, so you're the welcome. best. The basic yeah. arch yes. can serve you in so many different ways. Yes. Of course, you know Sarah for all of her fantastic DIY projects. And we have to just stop before we say goodbye okay. and celebrate the most recent. You did an epic playroom makeover. Yes. Describe what you went for. It was so okay. fun. Yes, yes. Uh, my playroom? Yes. That I work on? Yes. Um, I just wanted to use every single corner. And I wanted it to be a mix of education and fun and play. So we had a little Lego corner, which also used the arch. And then that little magnetic wall, we had a big built-in, we had a rock climbing wall, like it's just so fun. So many arches. Many arches, lots of colors, lots of bright, just so much fun. And the paint was so fun. You just hit so the wall. Fun. It was so fun. And, and, and decked it, it out. Oh yes. my gosh. Yes. All right, where can we see this project and many others? Okay, uh, I'm most active on Instagram, at Sarah Flips It. Sarah Flips It, you should be following. If you aren't already, be sure to Follow along, we'll link you over. Next project, are you always planning ahead? What's coming always, up next? Always. Right now I'm currently working on um, our local family support center doing another playroom and it is gonna be so fun. Oh, that's amazing. Look yeah. at you giving back and inspiring all at the same time. We love this girl for all the reasons. Great to see you, Sarah. You too. Thanks for your time You're this morning. You're welcome.